Hey guys, Shock here from Shock Tech, and in today's video, we have some major news. Samsung has officially announced the rollout of One UI 8, its next major software update for Galaxy devices. Now, this update offers new features, deeper personalization and customization, enhanced security, and a redesigned user experience over One UI 7. So let's dive in and get all the details. This is an official announcement from Samsung. So I wanna talk about what phones are getting it, when are they getting it, and what to expect. So let's dive in and get started. All right, so the first device to get the update is gonna be the Samsung Galaxy S25, which is this phone right here. But here's an official list of all the devices that are gonna get the update. So if I do scroll down right over here, you can see starting this week, the S25 is gonna get the update. So you may not get it today, but you will get it this week sometime if you have a Samsung Galaxy S25, and that's S25 Ultra Plus or the small regular model. Now, and then it says One UI 8 will also reach the Galaxy S24, Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, and the S24 FE later this year, and if you read the details, that's gonna be in October. So in October, these phones will also get the update. And then we have an extensive list of other smartphones. Let me show that to you that will get the One UI 8. So here it is. And that's gonna be this year sometime. You don't know exactly when, but it's gonna happen before the end of this year. So here's a Galaxy S devices that will get the One UI update. So we're looking at from S25 all the way down to S21. And then if you have a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold, it's gonna go from Z Fold 6 all the way down to Z Fold 4, which is fantastic. And then you have the Z Flip series all the way down to Z Flip 4. You're gonna get One UI 8. And if you have a Samsung Galaxy tablet, you can see a whole bunch of Samsung Galaxy tablets listed here will also get One UI 8 before the end of the year sometime. And here's the good news. If you have a Galaxy A series, whether that's a 5G model or a 4G model, you can see all these phones will get the update. So you can pause and look at if your phone is in here. If it is, boom, you got it. By the end of the year, same for the 4G models. And that's what they have made available as of now for the list of phones to get the One UI 8 update. So that's a lot of phones before the end of the year. Now, starting next year, some other phones might get it as well, but we don't have that list just yet. Now, I do wanna talk about something very important. Now, before I do that, I will be making a separate video with all the new One UI 8 features. So stay tuned for that video. But in this video, I wanna talk about something very important. In Samsung's official announcement, they mentioned security. So if I scroll down over here, you can see they're talking about enhanced NOx security for personal data engine and also upgraded cryptography for secure Wi-Fi. I, I do wanna actually show that to you really quickly so you understand how important security is when it comes to AI functionality and connectivity functions. So if I go to my settings, this is One UI 8, running One UI 8, and if I scroll down and go to security and privacy, number one, if I go all the way down, and go to more privacy settings, you can see the personal data intelligence. This is something Samsung talked about, and they're talking about the fact that they are, in fact, enhancing the security with the latest Keep Knox protection. So you can see right over here, the personal data intelligence gives you suggestions based on your actions in various apps and services like the Now Brief, the Modes and Routines, the gallery, so you get suggestion for searches and you get stories based on your calendar events and all that. So everything is interconnected and you're getting all these suggestions if this option is in fact enabled. So that means a lot of your information is going to the cloud and it's getting processed. The good news is they have made some updates to the personal data intelligence. So now all your information is even more secure and and encrypted so it is hard to crack. So that's one update that's very important, Knox security updates. Also, I wanna talk about the secure Wi-Fi upgrade, which if I go to my settings, and if I go back to my regular security and privacy, 
And if I scroll down, you can see we have a built-in VPN service known as Secure Wi-Fi that can protect your connection. So if you go to a hotel, if you go to, go to a coffee shop, you can enable protection and that's gonna encrypt all your data. So nobody can hack your information while you are connected to a outside Wi-Fi. Now Samsung does give you one gigabytes free protection per month, okay? You can use this anytime you want when you are connected to a foreign Wi-Fi that is not in your house, that is not in your office, that is not secure. So that has been upgraded. Secure Wi-Fi has been upgraded with brand new cryptography so it makes it even more secure in public networks. This I think is very important if you're into using these things and if you're into security and privacy, okay? So that's one thing I did wanna mention. We do have some enhancements to security and privacy for our Galaxy phones with One UI 8, both for AI and regular use. But that's gonna be it for this video. We talked about what phones are gonna get it, security enhancements, and of course, we're gonna make a video with all the actual new features of One UI 8. Remember, you may not get it today if you have an S25, but you will get it this week sometime. And then in October, other phones we talked about are gonna slowly start to get them as well. All right, guys. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know for now. Have a fantastic day, all right?